Okay. We're so glad you guys have joined us tonight on Ditching and Switching in the Kitchen. We are going to be talking about going green without spending very much green, your green, you know, money. So um, we will get right started right away. The Hall of Shame Cleaners. Hmm. Yes, we have got um, EWG. Has everybody heard of EWG? They rate all the products on the market and they tell us how dirty they are. And the most dirty ones so far that they have found are um, drain cleaners, oven cleaners, and toilet bowl cleaners. But what really surprised me was the ratings, the, the cleaners that got an F, which is Ajax, Charlie Soap, never heard of that, Clorox, but also Greenworks. Isn't that interesting? I always thought that they would be, they were so clean, but EWG has given them an F. And 10% uh, of all toxic exposures from poison control centers um, count for 206,600 calls. Unfortunately, of those calls, 120,000 uh, involved children under six. As a matter of fact, our neighbor across the street in our old neighborhood, their little four-year-old drank Clorox. Scared them to death. And needless to say, 911 was called immediately and transferred to the hospital. She is fine though. So, um, it just skin irritation, respiratory irritation, um, chemical burns, so much goes on with these cleaners. I still can't believe they're still on the market, to be honest with you. <laughs> and fragrance added to many of these cleaners. You guys, like one third of these substances used in fragrances are toxic, one third. So anytime when you see fragrance on a bottle, or a box, run, just turn around and run. You do not want anything that says fragrance. Um, also the chemicals are hormone disruptors. Um, they mimic our hormones. Unfortunately, um, one of them um, also mimics estrogen and has caused estrogen sensitive breast cancer cells to multiply in a test tube. So, and also, um, also a lot of chemicals for male birth defects. And I never really realized how many male birth defects there are in this country. Uh, so in other words, it's time to switch to plant-based oil infused products. We all know that, don't we? Now, not sure how to do it. How about if I do this? Yay, maybe that won't help. Okay, the, um, my, I, like I mentioned before, the drain cleaner was one of the most toxic things on the market today. So why don't we naturally unclog our pipes with baking soda and distilled white vinegar and three drops of lemon and three drops of purification very inexpensive, very natural, totally non-toxic to our pipes. You may have to run it twice, just saying, but still going to be cheaper than buying Drano or any of the other toxic chemicals. Burnt kitchen cookware cleaner. Yes, I have just switched all of our um, products to um, all of our pots and pans to cement, I mean cement, <laughs> to concrete, to concrete. And I, 
ceramic to ceramic. Boy, I'm going to need some mind wise tonight. Um, so needless to say, after spending all that money on ceramic pots and pans, I wanted something that was going to get all the burnt, that crusty, sticky brown stuff off of my pots and pans because they are expensive. So here is a wonderful recipe, again, using baking soda. So go ahead and buy the industrial size baking soda bag. Um, this uses hydrogen peroxide as well as orange, tangerine, and grapefruit. I like to add lemon. Lemon cuts through grease, cuts through anything sticky. So I like to add lemon also. But I need to warn you to wear gloves. Wear your rubber gloves while you are cleaning your pots and pans because of the hydrogen peroxide can bleach your skin, even though it is a natural product, it can bleach your skin and the essential oils are photosensitive. So if you clean your pots and pans and then with this recipe and then go out in the yard and garden for a couple hours, you may have some brown spots on your hands. So just use, and it again, all natural, completely natural, not going to harm you. It's just with bleaching and um, photosensitivity. Natural oven cleaner. Okay, guys, this is the other toxic um, cleaners that are out on the market. One of that makes the top 10 list. So, Let's go ahead and use a natural oven cleaner that's going to do just as good, okay? Now, I do have a self-cleaning oven, but you get all that brown, um, ash on the stove, on the oven, and you have to clean that all out. But guess what? If you're using a toxic cleaner, to clean this all out and to clean your oven, there is no way to get all of that residue off of your oven. So you are going to want to use an all natural cleaner because the minute you put your wonderful banana muffins in to start cooking, and if you have used a toxic cleaner, those fumes are gonna heat up and they are going to bake into your banana muffins. So please, please, please use a natural cleaner. And here is the recipe. Again, woo, baking soda, awesome. Uh, orange, and again, lemon, pine, and tea tree. Just make a little paste with these with the water and the baking soda and just follow the instructions below. And now your banana muffins are as healthy as your oven. If you have any questions, go ahead and unmute and let me know because I'm not keeping up with the chat. Okay. And again, what chemicals are you eating? Dish soap? There's no way to get all the dish soap off of your dishes. So whatever residue is left, that's what you're eating and drinking. And I'm not going to begin to try to pronounce these chemicals that are in here, but they damage DNA, they have respiratory effects, um, skin irritation, allergies, the organ effects, um, damage to vision, which I thought was very interesting. Um, so please be extra, oh, as well as our environment. When we flush them down our sinks, they are going out into the environment. And we talked about that several webinars ago, how horrible these are to our, to um, aquatic sea life and river life. So, I have a great hack for you tonight. The Thieves dish soap, dish soap is concentrated. 
believe it or not, most of Young Living's Thieves products are concentrated. So you can make three bottles out of one bottle. Um, just pour a third of the bottle into a pump container. I like to add additional oils. A lot of people don't add um, oils to it, but I just love the way they smell and it just makes me happy to smell orange. So I do try to put some citrus in all of mine. And um, so what I do when I get my brand new bottle of Thieves dish soap, I go ahead and put a little mark right by the T and a little mark right at the top of the leaf. And then I know exactly one third, one third, one third when I go to make my dish soap. Very, very, makes it very comparable to most plant-based soaps. And so healthy because you're being oil infused. Double the dishwasher washer power. Um, again, our friend baking soda. And if you take a half a scoop of thieves powder and a half a scoop of baking soda, mix it and add it to the dishwasher. Now, what we like to do is add a bag of dishwasher powder and two of the small boxes of baking soda put them all in like a Tupperware tub or glass container, mix it all up, and then have the scoop there. It's so easy to do your dishes then. Now, there is, this dishwasher powder is out of stock right now. So, what you can use when it's out of stock, Thieves Household Cleaner. So, we have been talking about baking soda a lot, but you're also going to never want to run out of your Thieves household cleaner. So I get the big household cleaner, this 64 ounces. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And believe it or not, I go through it pretty quickly because I clean the whole entire house with it. So, <clears throat> do not be without Thieves Household Cleaner. We'll talk about a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, Christy, this is your baby. Whoop. I love this hack. Yeah. Do you want me to talk about it? Yes, I do. I can do that. So this is one of the easiest hacks ever. I have very hard water, so I can use all the extra rinse aid that I can get. And my dishwasher has that little reservoir where you can fill it up and it'll last a couple washes. I take a Ninja Red bottle, I fill it full of um, distilled white vinegar and do 20 drops each of purification and lemon. Best rinse aid ever. And it's so easy. You just shake the bottle, pour it in, and you're done. Easy, that easy. is so amazing. I love that. Thank you so much. I noticed Christy. a huge difference on. You're welcome. Just real quick, I noticed a huge difference when I was make when I'm like plastic lids and stuff where like there it always leaves a like powder residue. This really helps with that. Oh, that's so good to know. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, Thieves Wipes. Yes. Sorry, guys. I keep moving this around. Mm, it's okay. Thieves Wipes. Um, I probably make a container of this, of Thieves Wipes, probably two times a week. This is how much I use of these wipes. Now you might be thinking, gosh, you're putting a lot of paper towels in the landfill, but actually my compost loves paper towels and it really loves thieves and essential oils because the bacteria needs the fiber when it's working. So always put your napkins or your paper towels 
in your compost bin. Now, um, one of my, this is just my, my absolute favorite hack because when you clean your countertops, if you cleaning with Lysol or Clorox wipes, you must leave it on there for 15 minutes before you wipe it down. And let me tell you, after it's been on 15 minutes, it's gonna be very hard for you to wipe off all of the Clorox or the Lysol. And we already saw the effects it has on our bodies, that toxins have on our bodies. So I got this really cute little glass jar at the Richard's Variety Store up the street, but they do have them everywhere. And so this sits on my kitchen counter because it looks a little nicer than the Dollar Tree container that you see here to the left of um, the box. That's what I have in all my bathrooms. I have that because it's plastic and if it falls off the back of the toilet or off the sink, it's just going to bounce. And I like to make a little, well, okay, I'm just going to be honest with you here. I'm always honest with you, by the way. But I'm just going to tell you that these and orange are my two absolute favorite, favorite combos for cleaning. I put it in everything that I clean. So, just so you know, I always put extra thieves and orange in there. And um, buying the, again, buying the large 64 ounce is so, so worth the money, the difference. Um, and unfortunately, I got this coming out. Um, the 64 ounce is $91.25. That seems like it's really, really high, doesn't it? But that's for this really big, huge 64 ounce one. Of course, they have a 14 ounce one too that you can get. But I get the big industrial because that's how much I use it. And it has 384 capsules in there. I can make 384 wipes out of that huge 64 ounce, which is about 23 cents per capful. Totally, totally worth the money. And if you get to the 100 PV order, shipping is free. So you definitely want to get the big one. Now you want to naturally wash your fruits and veggies. I love the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Wash. It is amazing for cleaning everything off of your fruits and veggies because at least a dozen hands have touched your produce before it reaches your plate. And who knows where those hands have been. I have seen kids picking their nostrils, going through the store and then touching everything. <laughs> so, and I've, I've seen older people um, <clears throat> do things too. So what you're gonna do is just add two tablespoons for each gallon of water and soak for two to three minutes, rinse, set on the counter to dry, which you have just cleaned, of course, with your thieves wipes. And there are 256 tablespoons in the gallon, which is eight cents a tablespoon, or 16 cents per soak. Now, here is a great hack. If you add a half a cup of the thieves fruit and veggie soap to a pump, little pump, uh, foaming pump, and then five drops of Thieves Purification and Digest, by the way, that is all in the Thieves Veggie Soak. And then fill the rest with distilled water. Um, and then just put four to six pumps in a bowl, large bowl, and then throw your fruits and veggies in there. Yep. 
then it's done. So it just pretty much doubles your fruit and veggie wash. And you can also add this recipe to a spray bottle so that if you have it in your purse, and then if you're somewhere where you just bought an orange or banana, and believe it or not, yes, you're gonna want to definitely wash anything with a peel on it, because the minute you cut it or peel it, that bacteria is gonna go into the fruit you're gonna eat. Anything you cut like an avocado, that knife goes right through the skin. Whatever is on that skin goes to the meat of the fruit. So always want to do that. And um, yeah, yes, we're gonna get to that in just a minute. Good to the last drop. You guys, this, thieves, how um, fruit and veggie soak. I just ran out of it yesterday because I'm doing a plant-based cleanse and I just ran out of it. I was like, oh man. So I looked inside, I'm like, wow, there's a lot of bubbles in there. So I went ahead and added half, filled it up halfway with water and then added Thieves Purification Digize and I did add Citrus Fresh and I just shook it. And there was so many suds, there were so, so much Thieves fruit and veggie soak still left in the bottle, even though I shook out everything before. So just fill it up halfway, I would only do halfway, and then add your oils. And you're gonna, I actually got to finish cleaning all of my fruits and veggies yesterday, just by doing this. If you are out of veggie soap, this is Marsha Miller's famous hack. She uses the Thieves household cleaner. Again, get the 64 ounce. Trust me, <laughs> you're gonna want the big one. Uh, you just fill the sink with water, add a few sprays. And when we say sprays, um, the bottle actually you can put a hole in the 14 ounce one and I think also the 64 ounce one. There's a hole that you can poke and then you can squirt out the cleaner. Makes it a little bit easier. And I wish I had a picture of that, but I don't, sorry. Um, and then you toss in the fruits and veggies and soak for five minutes. So when the fruit and veggie is out of stock, the thieves um, throw in the thieves household cleaner. Isn't that amazing that something that cleans your countertops and your toilets and your floors and windows and your stovetop, you can also clean your fruits and veggies with it. It is non-toxic, but to our bodies, but it does the job on things that we don't want in our home. Garbage disposal fresheners, I don't know about you, but I used to throw just ice down my, my um, disposal once a week and um, still, still had a little bit of an issue. So these garbage disposal fresheners are so easy, easy, easy to make. Here, is the recipe. And what you do is you combine the baking soda and the salt and the um, soap and the essential oils. By the way, I buy the large Castile soap also from Amazon and, um, and essential oils. And then I take a spoon and you just mold it on top of the spoon. And then you just tap it on the counter and it comes off and you let it dry and then you put them in a airtight container. And then add one to three down in your um, garbage disposal and turn on your cold water. It's wonderful, wonderful. However, like I said, I used to put a cup of ice down my disposal and it just didn't do the trick. So. I 
also added a rosemary, a lemon, purification, and thieves into the ice with a quarter cup of water. And then I would pour that down and shove the ice down in there. Oh my gosh, you guys, every time I turn on my garbage disposal for the next two or three days, wonderful smell. It is so great how the, the oils coat your garbage disposal. It's amazing. Um, ooh, how many people have had a boo-boo from cooking in the kitchen? Ooh, I keep thinking about Brian's um, story when he was little, he ran down the stairs because his mom was cooking pancakes on the griddle and he kissed the griddle. I will never forget that, Andrea. I just want you to know, <laughs> I will never forget that story. So if you get a boo-boo, go ahead and make a compress with five drops of any of these oils, chamomile, lavender, peppermint, any tree oils like juniper, cypress, cedarwood, sage, tea tree thyme. These are great oils to use on here. And you can mix, you can use one, you can use three, you can have a mixture already made up and, um, and just apply the cold compress um, and pretty much until the pain is gone. Um, you can also make a lotion um, by mixing the solid coconut uh, with a power mixer and uh, the essential oils and put it in a little jar and keep that in your kitchen for certain mishaps that may happen. Andrea, I know, loves the Labyrinth spray for any sort of sunshine mishaps or any mishaps in the kitchen. She loves the Labyrinth. So you've got lots of options here to keep in your kitchen. Oh, how many people have um, bit into a very hot pizza? Mm, the roof of my mouth, my tongue. Oh my goodness, it hurts so bad. But now you can eat your pizza the minute it comes out of the oven or delivered to your table. Because we have a defense, you can just put a little bit of lavender all over your tongue and the roof of your mouth. And this is Marsha Miller's little hack too that is wonderful. She has immediately subsided. So, lavender. Pumpkin-y and spicy fall soap. This is my favorite hack for fall. And I have um, those pretty little can foaming pump containers, um, jars all over my house in every bathroom, kitchen, everywhere, because I just think they're pretty. So I buy the large, big Thieves Industrial hand soap, um, Thieves hand soap refill. And you guys, it is so worth the money because it's concentrated. You just fill a third of your container with the Thieves soap, hand soap, and then add either witch hazel or vodka. My, I am not a fan of the witch hazel smell. So I will, but I did put it on this photo. But um, a lot of times I have a big, huge industrial bottle of very cheap, cheap vodka. And I will use the vodka instead of the witch hazel. And then add three drops each of cinnamon bark, ginger, nutmeg, clove, and orange. Um, by the way, you do not have to use the Vitality oils. You can use the regular labeled oils for the hand soap. Oh, you guys, it smells so, so good. And you can also make this um, household spray with the same oils for cleaning. Put it in a spray bottle and clean. Again, just a cap full of the Thieves Household Cleaner though. 
You don't have to fill it up a third. But with the Thieves Hand Soap, I recommend, especially nowadays, to fill it up a third of the way. Floors, naturally spotless floors. Um, Y'all, I, I actually like to mop now. I know that sounds really weird, but I actually love mopping my floors because again, I put in orange, so it makes me happy when I clean. But we have a hundred year old floors in our bungalow. And, and uh, actually, yeah, a hundred years now. And um, we use Thieves Household Cleaner. And again, we put one capful in our um, little container that snaps into our mop system. And, and I add, of course, mm, Thieves and orange. And lately I've been putting lemon because it works so well on cleaning. Um, and then fill the rest up with water. So inexpensive to mop your floors. So, so, so inexpensive. And now everyone can go barefoot, not worrying about absorbing toxins through the bottom of their feet, as well as our pets. Because believe it or not, our, our pets' paws absorb everything through their pads. All toxins. Just a few more hacks. This is one of my favorite from Marsha Miller also is the stick-on air freshener. Oh my gosh, what a great idea. Put it on anywhere that's stinky. You just add a drop of purification and then stick it onto your garbage can. Stick it in the your children's bathrooms um, and all the garbage cans. Such a great hack. And tear-free onion chopping, as I said, we are on a plant-based diet now, cleanse, and I have been chopping up a lot of onions. And you guys, this works so well. All you do is open the Thieves bottle, set it on the cutting board or next to the cutting board, and chop away. You will not tear up. I don't know how it works but you will not tear up. We have a bunch of great things coming up. Saturday, and that's this Saturday, October 17th, our holiday catalog comes out. I am so excited about this. It's always filled with wonderful bundles for gift giving. It's, um, they've got some great products they, um, put together. So make sure you are watching your email for the holiday gift catalog that's coming out. I do highly recommend ordering as soon as you can. These bundles go out of stock so fast. So always want to order as soon as you can. And our upcoming webinars, all things holiday, we're gonna talk about the holiday um, catalog and DIYs and a whole lot more so you can bless all of your gift giving people with wonderful health. And I cannot wait for this, Christy. Christy is going to teach us how to cook a Thanksgiving meal with essential oils. Flavored with <laughs> flavoring with essential oils. I am so so excited about this. Um, again, don't miss these two upcoming webinars for the rest of October. And by the way, it's the same link and password, just in case you want to know. Okay, so ladies, let's say goodbye to toxins out of our house. And thank you so much for joining us tonight. I am going to stop recording.